In this video, we're going to go through how you can update your Moxie. From time to time, HandyQuilter come out with improvements to the software. That can be for either the, dis the display or the machine or both. And it depends on how old your machine is and when it was last updated. But occasionally the, the updates are important. If there's nothing wrong with your machine, uh, there is little point in actually updating it unless it gives you additional functionality or cures an issue. So unless we've asked you to do so, you don't have to worry too much about updating the software. It's a stable system. So in order to find out what your current level of software is for both the machine and display, what you need to do is press the minus and the plus key simultaneously, which will take you to the selection menu. Page through using the plus key until you get to the I button. Select it by using needle up, needle down. That'll tell you the current display and machine software. On this machine, I'm on 1.23 and 1.07. I need to upgrade the machine to 1.08. Uh, the display software is okay. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back into the main menu and then I'm going to press the selection key again with plus and minus and go through. And this time I'm going to select the one that just ahead of the I, which has got the arrows going in alternating directions. That's the update button. Select that with needle up, needle down. I've got two options, display or machine. So I'm going to pick in this case machine. So I just use the plus button to move to machine. I'm going to put my USB stick in. Now this will have been downloaded from the Handy Quilter website. You'll see the software updates under resources. I click on um, the Moxie and go and download and extract from a zipped file both the display and machine software. And then you can take it along to your Moxie. It's always best to put it in the root directory because that's what the machine is looking for. Okay, so now we've done that. We select the machine using up and down arrow. The single beep will beep for a while. It just depends on how much software update there is in terms of code. Uh, something like 11 or 12 beeps would be completely normal for this process. Just let it run. If it's doing three beeps, it means it can't find the file and it's searching for the file. In that case, we suggest that you turn the machine off after waiting a few seconds to make sure it isn't going into the update routine. Turn the machine off, take out the USB stick and put it back in again. Try again. In this case, it's actually finished the single beep. It's turned the machine off. It's powered it back on again. And what I'm now going to do is turn the machine off, leave it for 10 seconds, take out the USB stick and then power it up again. turned off, take out USB stick from the left hand side of the machine, power it up again. <clears throat> and we can go now into, I'm going to go into brightness because that's gone down, there we go. And I'm going to go into the menu for I and select it and now it's showing 1.08. I have successfully updated my machine software to the latest version. Okay, if you have any issues, um, you can contact us at Pinhole Quilting and we'll take you through it, either with a video call uh, or a phone call, and uh, we'll step you through the process.